Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy La Savage here again with another video. And some crazy, crazy news just happened. Dwayne Wade just signed a one-year, $2.3 million contract with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So this just adds way more depth to their team. Having him on the starting lineup means like J.R. Smith is obviously going to be coming off of the bench. So that's just more depth for the Cavs. They got really, really good this offseason. Um, and also some other news for the Cavs, Isaiah Thomas, um, Tyron Lue said Isaiah Thomas won't be starting the season. He is going to be out with that hip injury and Derrick Rose will be starting. So that's going to be really cool to be seeing LeBron, D Wade, Derrick Rose. It's going to be awesome to watch the Cavs. It's just really, really crazy seeing these guys reunite again. Um, and just we're again we're just gonna have to wait for all these new teams to see what they could do we got the thunders just by far stacked for sure gonna be competing with the warriors Cavs probably gonna be going to the finals again this year um just some big crazy crazy moves this offseason um obviously the bulls did buy out d wade and um d wade was uh either looking at san antonio or the thunder would have been cool to see him in the Thunder too. The Thunder, that would have been a crazy offseason for them, bringing three All-Stars uh, alongside Russell Westbrook. For sure, if they got D-Wade, I think I would have put OKC over the edge. But um, D-Wade's just like another extra 15 points, possibly 18, 20 points on your starting lineup. So their starting lineup is going to be really, really good, almost like... LeBron's probably gonna go down in points now that now that they have like four big options for like role players on their team So it's gonna be really crazy to see what they do But most of the Cavs are free agents next year So they're gonna have to be making some big moves next year and who they want to bring back who LeBron really wants to bring back I mean, he's the GM the head coach. He's everything for that team. So um. It's just been a really crazy offseason. I can't wait for the season to start. Um, leave a comment down. In, everybody, I want you guys to know how you guys think the season's going to play out. Who do you guys think is going to win? Uh, who do you think's the uh, most like overstacked team, most stacked team going into the this up-and-coming season? Can't forget about the Warriors. They just added uh, more bench pieces. Omar Caspi, like a power forward stretch, stretch four, and of course, Nick Young. So... Teams are just getting better and better. It's going to be really hard to compete with other teams. Um, I mean, that's basically all I have to talk about, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go Celtics, go. It's been your boy, Le Savage. I'm out.